Through the shrouded mists of the Tarkov wasteland, a shadowy group has appeared. The Yusek robes that dominated the lighthouse have not backed down with their comrades, but have instead chosen to fight. This nameless group of soldiers have, until now, appeared autonomous, but recently reports have come in of horrific encounters with what they say is death himself. That the rogue snake actually has a head, or more precisely, a three-headed hydra. I am, of course, talking about the Goon Squad. The squad is comprised of three former USAC operatives, each with a code name. They have a unique insignia to designate their squad, and they are the newest addition to the ever-expanding list of bosses in the Tarkov region. Each of the rogue leaders has a distinctive look and gear to match, and can be encountered on customs, woods, shoreline, and lighthouse. While little is known about them beyond their status as former USAC operatives, we can find pieces of lore scattered across item and quest descriptions. The de facto leader of the goon squad, Knight, or Death Knight, is certainly an imposing presence. His mask resembles a cross between Ghost from Modern Warfare 2 and Predator with its hanging dreads. From his appearance, it would seem that he has no problem killing Bear and Yusek alike, as seen by the numerous patches on both of his forearms. The description on his mask reads, A unique mask of the commander of the Goon Squad, former Yusek operators who decided not to flee Tarkov, but to create their own order. He can be found with various loadouts, seen here with a 762 MDR and a unique plate carrier, the Cry Precision CPC Goons Edition, with matching insignia. Birdeye appears to be the scout of the group. He can be seen here carrying an RSASS. A hand tattoo bearing the Goons insignia can also be seen. He paints his face in what we can assume is the skull pattern too. His backpack is unique, a nice COM3 BVS frame system with attached radio. The description reads, an extremely rare thing for which a real hunt is conducted in Tarkov. Big Pipe is the last of the squad, sporting the M32A1 rotary grenade launcher. He carries a big tobacco pipe, hence the name. He can be seen with many tattoos, including one that reads, Death from above, implying he was in an airborne regiment, and he also wears a goons edition of a plate carrier and black bandana with the insignia. And that's about all the information we have on the goon squad. A little more can be found in the quest Stray Dogs, where Jaeger tells us, Some new renegades are terrorising the city. I've sent a man to negotiate with them, maybe even guide them to the right path, but those savages decapitated him sent his head back to me with the letter I wrote for them. They're not locals, all came from Yusek, long renounced their own people too. They must be hunted down. This is our land, no more peace talks. When we complete the task, he flippantly says, don't think about your hands getting bloody again, soldier. Think that you've cleared this land of the wicked. And that's about it. Which is a real shame as these descriptions could flesh out exactly who the Goon Squad is a lot more. Instead, we have to resort to speculation and extrapolation from this little amount of information. We can see that they are the commanders of the Yusek Rogues, but beyond that, their motivations are a mystery. From the mass description about establishing their own order, and the fact that they can appear on multiple maps at random suggests that they have taken Tarkov for themselves, with little in the way of anyone trying to stop them. They are fearsome warriors who aren't afraid to behead their enemies, and they command some of the toughest troops in the region. Is their game plan simply to dominate the region? But why? There must be some bigger cause to what they're fighting for, beyond the ruined wasteland of Tarkov. Do they know the deep dark secrets of Terror Group, and are they trying to capture them for themselves? Are they trying to dominate the flow of cash in and out of the blockade zone? 
or are they just psychopaths? So used to killing that they just enjoy it? Probably all three. Beyond this, I have no more to say about them, other than it's nice to have new characters added to the game. It would be really great to see quest descriptions fleshed out to give more backstory on who these guys actually are, and why they're in Tarkov. It doesn't take much to write these descriptions, I should know, I do it for a living. Again, one of the reasons I have trouble making these videos is that it's mostly just speculation. Hopefully soon we'll get the long awaited quest rework, which might give us some more lore to write about. But in the meantime, thanks for watching, and stay tuned for more content.